Hello everybody, welcome to the Bob's burger Burgerathon episode 3. So you probably think we're doing episode 3 of the show as well, but you would be wrong. The first season is rough. I'm gonna be honest with you, it is rough. So I am going to skip to season 2. I actually don't think the show gets, you know, to that Bob's Burgers quality until season 3. But season 2 has some real gems in it. And I was looking at episode 3, which I believe is Sacred Cow, and I just did not want to go over that one again. Even though there's some fun stuff in there and it introduces some characters, but we're going to go over Burger Boss from season 2. Season 2, episode 4, Burger Boss. So Bob rents out a video game called Burger Boss to try and drum up business. He's super proud of his score on it, and then Jimmy Pesto, who we skipped his introduction, but you all know who Jimmy Pesto is if you watch this show. Uh, And nobody watches this show, so it doesn't really matter. I'm doing this for my own entertainment. Jimmy Pesto beats his high score, and then Bob goes crazy trying to reclaim the high score, and it ends up giving him carpal tunnel syndrome, and he ends up taking painkillers for it. I do not know what doctor is giving out painkillers for carpal tunnel syndrome. That is, uh, you know, that's a little sketch. You want to you wanna keep that doctor if you can find him. This is also one of the first times that we hint at Bob having a little bit of an addiction problem. It's also in Shish Cab Bob and in a few other episodes where he is shown to like, you know, more than just alcohol and that he really likes alcohol. But also in the few episodes that he has a little thing about painkillers. He's definitely not an addict, but he definitely has addictive tendencies, which is interesting. But he ends up really trying to to win at this. But then Linda has the game taken away to uh, Family Fun Time, which is the first appearance, but will not be the last. That's going to be a major part of the show, really. It's going to have its own episode. And we're introduced to Daryl. Played by Aziz Ansari, who becomes a big character in the show. I think this was just supposed to be a guest appearance by him, but he definitely becomes a recurring character. He tries to teach Bob how to beat the game because he's really good at it. The only way to get into family fun time is to bring a kid. So uh, we have Jean, Tina, and Louise all crashing different birthday parties. They're getting kind of sick of it. They want to find something bigger to crash. It's kind of a parody of Wedding Crashers. The only reason Daryl is teaching Bob how to use the game is that he wants Bob to beat up his bully, who is also a little boy. And Bob at first isn't willing to, but then he's so high on drugs that he is willing to. We also see Bob mix his painkillers with alcohol in this episode, uh, which you shouldn't do. The B plot is that Linda wants to go sailing and she wants her and the kids to have sailing lessons and Bob lies to her and says that they're taking sailing lessons. Um, the episode just sort of ends. Daryl says that he will figure out that, you know, he's gonna beat the game for Bob so that it knocks the Bob sucks off of it. The reason I decided to do this episode is I'm not that into video games, but I love when media is built around video games, like stories are told about video games in movies and in TV, uh, like The Last Starfighter or something that of, you know in that vein but I, I I like the idea of video games but I also wanted to talk about Burger Boss as a whole because there's some trivia some cool trivia on the Bob's Burgers wiki fandom uh, it's apparently a parody of the Burger Time video game which is an arcade game that was created in 1982 and I guess has had a bunch of different iterations in Burger Time it's a big Thing. It was released as Hamburger in Japan. I'd never heard of it. Uh, it looks kind of cool, I guess. I'm not going to look into it anymore, but, you know, that's uh, fun. And, and if you go under popular culture on the Wikipedia page, the character of Peter Pepper appears in Wreck-It Ralph and Pixels. What I did think is that it's under here is it says it's reminiscent of Super Mario Brothers, which it definitely is. It looks like Super Mario Brothers, and there's several levels to save a princess and there's different and the way the chef looks it definitely looks like it is 
The cabinet features different styles of art, Deception the Character Burger Boss is a reference to the 1982 video game Donkey Kong. The game can be considered from the mid-80s because of its graphics, uh, but it's also really cool because it says in here that we can believe that it's a still a thriving, popular game in the Bob's Burgers universe because in Bad Tina, a student is seen holding the, a Burger Boss lunchbox, which is kind of interesting. I think that building an episode around this game, especially this early in the series, was kind of a really cool idea, and I think that they execute it really well. I would say that this is the best episode that I've reviewed so far. I'm not saying it's the best episode of the show so far, but I'm saying of the three episodes that we've done, this is by far the best one. I think when Bob's Burgers gets into the cultural references and that sort of thing and takes them and spends them in their own way, I think that's when the show is really at its best. And I and I love the Burger Boss game. I, I It would be cool if they made like a, I, not a full video arcade, you know, cabinet game, but if they created a Burger Boss app or something or some cheap flash player game or some way i feel like there's a lot of different ways they could have exploited the bob's burgers ip that they haven't especially because there aren't toys yet for the movie which if you remember the simpsons movie there were definitely toys at burger king they should have done uh some sort of release like that they should have done like a mcdonald's toy release for the bob's burgers movie because there's definitely a growing audience for this which is younger and i think that this is a property that could be evergreen in the same way that the simpsons is but i don't think that they're taking full advantage of that this has been uh episode three of the bob's burger thon celebrating the countdown to the bob's burgers movie remember save your money brush your teeth and that's it hit all the buttons down there like subscribe put on your notifications uh, I know nobody's watching this, but if you were, you could tell a friend to watch it too. And that is all. Goodbye, everybody. Like and subscribe, though. Like, 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 and subscribe.